You. What's your name? Zach. You play the guitar? Yeah. Okay, come here. Today, we cannot go outside whenever we want, and sometimes we feel bored at home. This is the right time for us to learn something new. How about learn how to play a guitar? If this is what you want, we can help you choose a guitar that suits you. We have prepared top 5 best guitars that you can choose from. You can also click the links provided in the description below for more information. <laughs> Taylor GS Mini Acoustic Guitar A compact guitar that is not short of quality. The Taylor GS Mini Acoustic Guitar is a fun little guitar that can be considered as an acoustic superstar by itself and has the world's mitten, producing a rich full quality sound that would run contrary to the saying. Size matters. This guitar is very portable and carry on the go, yet still very comfortable to hold and play in the comfort of your home or just about anywhere. Epa! Now that's a song! You can buy it on Amazon for 499 US dollars or 24,630 Philippine pesos. Despite its small footprint, the GS Mini is no toy instrument. There's a solid seat cast spruce top, a faultless build quality, and the setup is immaculate. Rather like a good parlor sized guitar, the GS Mini outputs a sound that belies its compactness. We'd lay a considerable sum to suggest it be a fine recording guitar. That tight low end giving space to a bass guitar, or bassier 6 string. While the mids aren't overly honky, as some parlors can be, and the silky sparkly highs are pure Taylor fidelity. Far from a gimmick, this is a guitar with its own vibe and voice, and both are very appealing. The key specs and features. Tropical mahogany top, layered zapelle back and sides, ebony fretboard and bridge. Short, 23.5 inches scale length. Scale down grand symphony guitar with big sound. Let's talk about the pros and cons. For the pros, amazing sound quality. Comfortable to play both seating and standing despite its size. Stays in tune for a longer span of time. Very simple but durable materials. And for the cons, it is a bit expensive. The guitar comes with a satin finish making physical damage to the guitar more pronounced and visible. Shut up and take my money! Epiphone EJ200 SCE Electro Acoustic Guitar A jumbo guitar is like an ordinary dreadnought but bigger and louder. Something that stands out about the Epiphone EJ200 SCE is the cutaway, which is rare on jumbos despite how this is where they help the most. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have that. It's loud on its own, but you also get a formidable preamp system. You can buy it on Amazon for 698 US dollars or 34,482 Philippine Pesos. The Epiphone EJ200 SCE has a solid spruce top on a laminated maple body. Its slimmer taper neck is also select maple top with a pow ferro fretboard. It has 20 frets and a 25.5 inch scale length. The Grover Rotomatic tuners keep your intonation and tuning well, and the synthetic bone nut and saddle give you a harmonic rich tone that lasts. Take it! You also get access to the truss rod on the headstock. Distinctive calling cards of J200 Heritage are present here. The moustache bridge, decorative tortoise shell, pig guard, and pyroloid crown inlays. The sound is balanced rather than boomy, giving strum chords the fullness that made the J200's reputation. Expect articulate highs and a warm foundation in the bottom end. However, it's the Shadow E-Sonic 2 preamp that pushes this guitar into greatness. Featuring two blendable mono pickups, a traditional under saddle piezo, and another pickup located at the end of the fingerboard. And with an onboard tuner to keep you sounding sweet, this is without a doubt one of the best electroacoustics around today. For the key specs and features Top, select seat cast spruce, back and sides, maple, neck, hard maple, knot width, 1.68 inches, knot and saddle, plastic, body shape. Jumbo, Electronics, Shadow E-Sonic 2 Stereo. Let's talk about the pros and cons. For the pros, rich loud tone, great value, high playability, versatile. And for the cons, not all solid. We've got some rocking to do. 
Washburn Woodline 10 Series WLO 12SE The Washburn Woodline WLO 12SE 6-string orchestra acoustic electric guitar is a great instrument for players who need a guitar that looks, sounds, and plays great at an affordable price. The mahogany top, back, and sides deliver a warm tone that perfectly complements the human voice. Um, are we going to be creating musical fusion every day? Yeah, get used to it. The Sitka spruce bracing has been reduced to allow the WLO 12SE stop to vibrate more freely, and the guitar is decked out in high-end ornamentation like rosewood binding and a new bone string knot and saddle. The Washburn WLO 12SE is a quality acoustic guitar for a great price. You can buy it on Amazon for $459 US dollars or 22,656 Philippine pesos. Based on the vintage Martin OM body shape, the orchestra-style WLO 12SE features sub-dreadnought dimensions with sparkling highs, tight bottom end, and a decent spec. A walnut-bound mahogany body paired with Washburn Scallop X bracing makes this an elegant guitar with a clarity that makes it great for the detail of finger-style playing. Huh? What? You wanted a banjo? A Fishman Francis II preamp gives an honest portrayal of the guitar's acoustic qualities and includes bass and treble controls for tonal tweaking. Coupled with a slim C-profile neck, low action, and a grab tech new bone nut, this is a quality instrument that punches well above its weight. Let's talk about the key specs and features. Clear Tone 7412B Light Gauge Phosphorus Bronze Fishman Isis Plus 30IT with Tuner and Faceback Feedback Filter Faw Wood Overlay Reset Two-Way Truss Rod Let's talk about the pros and cons. For the pros, generally offers a solid blend of bass, mid, and treble. The action is low, perfect for finger-style players and self-accompanying singer-songwriters. For the cons, neck isn't the prettiest. I'm gonna teach you some matters. Art and Luthiery Roadhouse Small-bodied guitars are cool. Their portability, sweet dynamic range, and comfortable-to-play dimensions have proved extremely popular. Most manufacturers nowadays offer mini models, but Art and Ludieri's Roadhouse series of acoustics and electro stick that box while pointing firmly at the pass, with vintage styling and pre-war aesthetics. Unbelievable. Made by Art and Ludieri, a sub-brand of Godin guitars, known mostly for its electric guitars. This parlor model cuts straight to the chase. It's clean, it's earthy, it's got attack and it's designed to take you back in time to the rural deep south where all you might have needed were all the clothes on your back and this instrument for company. You can buy it on Amazon for 399 US dollars or 19,000 Philippine pesos. Playing the roadhouse is an absolute joy. The middle and upper ranges of the guitar are very strong. When we try some alternative tuning, dropping the bottom E to a D opens up the bass no end. Blues and country come to the fore. There's clarity too, combined with an understated subtle warm, a pocket-sized bag of country rock and roll, compact and ready to go at a moment's notice. Let's talk about the key specs and features. parlor size guitar, wild cherry back and sides, 3-layer solid lamination, select pressure-tested solid spruce top, silver leaf maple neck, rosewood fingerboard and bridge, Semi Patina Bourbon Burst Finish 24.84 in scale 16 inches fingerboard radius 1.72 inches knot width Graptec Tusk Nut and Saddle Double Action Truss Rod Open Gear 18x1 Antique Brass Tuners Fishman Sonitone Electronics Gig Bag Included Let's talk about the pros and cons For the pros, believable vintage looks Easy and comfortable to play Mid-range tone is perfect for fingerstyle playing, excellent value for money, and for the cons, tone lacks versatility. That was awesome, you're rocking. Fender CD 60S All Mahogany, the entry model of the Classic Design series is a good reminder of just how much guitar you can get for your money. At the more affordable end of the market, we've come far since the days of high action, poor tuning stability, and shoddy construction that used to mark out lower price models. Instead, we're offered a solid wood mahogany top, laminated mahogany back sides, and an inviting rolled fretboard edge. It is bold. I like it. 
The CD60S intonation is great out of the box, though not too low to make us wary of alternate tunings. The mid character of mahogany is certainly here, bringing some mid to a brightness usually associated with spruce tops. Remember what we said about no hard and fast rules with tone woods? The result is something that's genuinely inspiring to play and chimes in chord work and one of the best acoustic guitars for newcomers. For those looking for a second acoustic. I'll take that. After all, why should new players settle for just okay when they need to be comfortable and inspired? And there is no reason why this dreadnought wouldn't be a good addition for anyone else too. Let's talk about the key specs and features. All mahogany guitar gives you a fat full sound. Dreadnought body shape, mahogany neck with rosewood fretboard, includes hard shell case. Let's talk about the pros and cons. For the pros, this product comes as a bundle, bag, strap, tuners, picks, extra strings. Great value for its price. Excellent for different playing styles. Easy to play, neck and low action. Perfect for beginners. Built to last. And for the cons, there may be some buzzy frets. Not the best quality for advanced players, but good enough as a backup guitar. Let's rock this joint! Alright, that's all for now guys. I hope that this video helps you to decide on what guitar to buy. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell so you will be up to date with our more product reviews. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links. Keep safe and see you on our next videos.